Metro Atlanta man now charged with this attack of a counter protester in Charlottesville, Virginia. He claims he's innocent. Channel 2's Richard Elliott live in Forsyth County with uh, what happened as Michael Ramos walked out of his court hearing today. Richard. Ramos waived extradition, so he is sitting inside that jail right now, waiting for Virginia authorities to come pick him up. Now, after the judge called his court in recess and before Ramos walked out of the courtroom, I was able to ask him one question. I'm not in recess. Do you have any comment or anything to say? Uh, this is I'm not guilty. That's Alex Michael Ramos walking into a Monroe County Magistrate Court. He said he's not guilty of the charges. He joined a group of white nationalists and beat up a counter protester during the violence in Charlottesville. Video and photos like these of that beating went viral. The internet slews, along with Charlottesville police, were able to ID many of the people in the photos, including, they say, Michael Ramos. Ramos's last known address was the Metro Atlanta area, and police from Cobb to Butts to Monroe County looked for him until he surrendered to the Monroe County Jail Monday night. Here's his booking photo. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Tuesday morning, Ramos was up in front of a magistrate court judge to say if he agreed to waive extradition and go back to Virginia to face those charges. At times, he seemed confused, even looking directly at the camera as if to ask what's going on. The judge had to explain that it was not an admission of guilt, simply a waiver that allowed Charlottesville police to come get him and take him back to Virginia. In the end, Ramos signed the waiver basically because he didn't want to stay locked up in Forsyth until all the extradition proceedings played out in court. You okay with it? going to have to be. No, you don't have to sign this. I don't want to stay here for three months. Now, Ramos will stay here until Virginia authorities come and pick him up, take him back to Charlottesville. Deputies here aren't sure how long that'll take. We're live in Monroe County. Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News.